guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar show again. Let me show you this guy. As promised, this is an astrophysics. This is an older model. I'm not sure if it's a 1998 to 2000 model. Uh, it's a six inch, so I believe it's 152. Now I got it from another astro friend uh, in Ontario uh, called Dave. And he was also a mod for one of the uh, forums there. Anyway, um, I read basically, uh, well, it's a very, it's a big scope. It's actually even longer than a six inch F8 uh, Evo star, which I still currently have anyway. Um, but it, it's longer. So he told me it was a six inch F8. Now, because of the length of it, it's, it's probably a good six to eight inches longer at least. Um, and not the Ducat. The Ducat's actually smaller than the Evo Star, but it does. I'm talking about the actual length from the uh, lens on. I have a, well, I'm not 100% sure, but I just have a suspicion. Is it an F9, not an F8? Um, that would actually help out contrast and color a lot more. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. So what I was told, I haven't used it yet, so this is my unboxing. Although unboxing normally means brand new, but it doesn't matter. So this is my, my unboxing of this guy. So again, astrophysics, six inch F8, could be F9. Now, um, the reason why Dave said he was getting rid of it because he's older and when you have this guy towards the zenith, you have to be on a stool or you're basically on your knees when you're that low. Um, I can show you guys if you want. So if you're looking at that type of angle there, um, and remember, too, I don't even have uh, the diagonal uh, down. So let me show you how far that sucker is to the floor. So really, as you can see, it's, it's going to be almost to my knees. So you're going to be really, really low. I mean, I could put that tripod higher. Uh, another thing you could do with these large refractors is you could buy uh, like Orion cells. They might be the only one left um, but Antares used to sell them before too, where they had a, uh, a mini pier, it was called. Um, and that would, you could put it right here, and that would raise it about 16 inches. And then, you know, you're probably talking about, it would probably be about here, the bottom instead of here. Uh, so even just a small chair or anything, or you can be bending it at that height. Um, anyway, I do... For show purposes, I'm, I'm probably not going to use this guy on the LXD75. I have a couple of, uh, I have two um, right here. Uh, I have two EQ6 uh, here. I'll probably use it on that. I'm unboxing it, just use this guy for show. Anyway, so what I was told too, this is before Roland or before Astrophysics started making the ED lenses. So basically, um, it's a triplet, uh, I'm, I'm told, a triplet uh, regular, non-ED. So my thinking is going to be, it's going to be very similar in, in performance. Uh, I'm just guessing, you know, I haven't tried it out yet. Um, I'm waiting for the um, Saturn and Jupiter to come near opposition. Uh, and then the problem with my backyard in the eastern part to have a couple big trees, I have to wait for it to pass that. So it's probably closer to 1 a.m. type of thing right now. Uh, so it's still a little too early. If it's a weekday, uh, I definitely can't stay up that late to start. And then uh, by the time I finish, uh, there's no way I could uh, do that uh, and get to work with a decent amount of sleep. Anyway, um, what I was saying is, so my thinking is going to be, it's going to be probably similar to something like a triplet with a 51 glass or 61 glass or something like that. I don't know if it's going to be 100% true apochromatic uh, or uh, have all the wavelengths uh, done, but it's definitely going to be, you know, it is uh, pretty much one of the best name brands there is, Astrophysics. It's a six inch, it was made by Roland, so the quality is going to be there. It's just not as good as the brand new astrophysics triplets with that, uh, you know, with ED glass, with, um, you know, the high-end 53 glass, that type of thing. It's not going to be to that degree, but there's no way it's going to be a slouch either. Now, the focuser that comes on this guy 
is amazing. It's a feather touch, so I guess uh, Dave upgraded that. Let me show it to you because this is one of the best focusers I have felt. I have felt feather touch focusers as well, guys. So it's not to say I didn't or I haven't. Um, but anyway, uh, feather touch, uh, I, I believe that's probably, I'm not sure if that's a two and a half inch. It's rotatable. And so I'm thinking it's a two and a half inch. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a three inch. But anyway, the black part here is your, well, on this guy here, let me rotate it over here. So this one here is your coarse focuser. And then on this side, the, this inner black one is the coarse focuser. Now, if you look at this guy, how big it is, this is huge. I have never seen a wheel that big. Uh, if you want, I can actually measure it for you, just so you can see. This wheel is a three inch diameter wheel. I have not seen a wheel that big, but this is your slow or minute foc focusing. Uh, so if you want fast, this one or this, and then if you want just minuscule focusing, this guy. And because it's so big, it's just so smooth, this guy. Um, it's one of the best focusers I have seen. Now there is a little bit, I don't know if you can see that. There is a little bit of a wobble on the big guy. Maybe it had a little bit of a bump or something like that, but um, that's okay. Anyway, let me see if I can show you guys the uh, lens here. Okay, so that is what the lens looks like. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. The uh, dew shade does come off. Let me see if I can just, there we go. Put it down. And then let's see if I can get you guys closer to the lens. There you go. So that's a reflection of the light there, of course. But um, anyway, that's what it looks like. So it's really nice. Anyway, guys, so that is my unboxing of a Astrophysics, an oldie one from uh, probably 1998 to 2000 model. Uh, but anything Astrophysics is expensive, is, should be amazing quality. Um, it is a bit long, so you definitely need a decent mount. Uh, this is probably not it but that's okay. I do have two EQ6s I can use on it. Let me move that a little bit better. And anyway, so that's it. So I will, next video I do with this guy will actually be looking at Jupiter and Saturn. Uh, but before I do that, I am going to use, I've used the Evo Star three or four times at least I showed you guys an unboxing and then I tell you after I look at Saturn and the moon with it uh, in 2019 uh, 2020 I have a video called looking at Mars when it was in opposition and it was a pretty pretty nice you can I could see like definitely uh, shadowing on Mars itself uh, with Angelus um, so I want to uh, next is going to be the Evo Star. I'm going to show you guys the planets through the telescope on my uh, cell phone camera. And Jupiter and Saturn through this guy. Then I'm going to show you guys through um, the telescope itself uh, with my cell phone. Compare the 6 inch Evo Star against this one. And let's see what happens. Because again, even though this is a triplet, this is a triplet non ED. So is it going to have the same color correction, the same sharpness, contrast um, as the Evo Star, which is a doublet, but it, well, I don't know what glass it is. I mean, nobody knows what glass the Evo Star now uses, but it's fairly good for an entry level apochromatic. But what's gonna happen when we go side to side with one of the best 
uh, name brand telescopes in the world. And just remember too, you're also paying for the polish and the figure uh, of the lens. I have no doubt that it is better uh, polished and figured than an Evo Star for sure. But the Evo Star is made with better glass. So it's gonna be interesting to see side by side what's gonna be sharper and more detailed. To me, the color correction is always uh, secondary. The image quality has to be, and contrast has to be number one, right? Who cares if the color correction is perfect, but it's not as sharp, it's not as detailed because it wasn't polished and figured as, as well. So I can just, my thinking, my understanding, my knowledge is gonna be this one is gonna have a much better figure and polish than the Evo Star, but the Evo Star is a better glass. So it'll be interesting to see how it compares to each other. Is it gonna be a blowout uh, on one side or the other, or is it gonna be very, very identical? Uh, that'll be interesting to, to see. Anyway, if you wanna see that, stay tuned in the next uh, couple months because I am gonna do that. This is Joe Jaguar, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon.